Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, July 15th, 2019. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I know I had a really good weekend. It was nice. It was relaxing. I worked. I played. I did a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, it was great. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so please keep in mind that this reading is uh, timeless, okay? This is a timeless reading. So it doesn't have to resonate for you on the 15th. At any moment when you come across this reading and it resonates with you, then that means it was the right message for you at that moment, yes? Also, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. So. Getting into the pre-shuffle here, um, so we have some pretty interesting energies. We have the Hierophant here with the Wheel of Fortune. The Hierophant is upright, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, okay? Um, and this was a little interesting. I, I have to admit, I was kind of confused when this came out at first because it, at first, it doesn't necessarily feel or look too favorable. Um, I was really kind of uh, flabbergasted <laughs> is the word I want to use, even though I feel like that's a little too too strong of a statement. But I was a little um, taken aback when I saw the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here. Um, and so I was kind of like, okay, where's this going? And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles, which is upright. Okay, and then we have the Magician in reverse on the other side of the deck. And I'm like, I'm sitting here like, what's going on? And eventually what came to me, I heard a message of the time, time is up. Uh-oh, time is up for what? Well, then I heard the Patriarchy because here we have the Hierophant, but the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All With all of that said, um, then we move to the Ace of Pentacles, okay, um, which is a brand new beginning, which is a new start, which is a new offer. It's maybe an offer of commitment. It's um, starting a new career, starting a new job, um, finances coming in. Um, but then to me, what this really feels like here is a new start, a new beginning in something physically. Um, this feels, this really does feel like someone is moving in a direction that is unorthodox, that is not normal to them, um, is something completely different. Uh, we're gonna, we'll, we'll see what comes out for the rest of the reading here, but something tells me with um, the Hierophant here and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I just feel like whatever is represented by this Hierophant energy for you, its time has run out, is, is what I'm feeling. I just feel like someone doesn't want to manifest in this way anymore. It really, it, I mean, it, and the, 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 the most com conf confusing, confusing thing about this energy for me right now is the fact that the Hierophant is upright. So the Hierophant energies are still kind of standing tall, okay? There's still, I mean, it's not like whatever this Hierophant energy represents for you in your life, if this is resonating with you right now. Um, and also, I, let me say, the Hierophant represents... Um, the establishment, the status quo, social norms, religion, university, government, um, society. I kind of want to say science. Um, any, well, maybe not. Well, yeah, it, it could represent science in a way um, because the, the Hierophant tends to represent anything that is like fairly dogmatic, okay, um, in nature. Constricting, um, controlling that kind of energy, all right? Uh, it's like the usual way of doing things in some cases. 
Now, don't get me wrong, there is wisdom in this. However, what this feels like is someone is taking their power into their own hands. And if you are resonating with this right now, whatever this Hierophant energy represents for you, it's not like you moving away or you not manifesting from that point of view anymore and, man and, and creating something brand new for yourself with this Ace of Pentacles. It's not like you moving away from that situation is really going to be any mu that much of a detriment to this because again, this is very well established, okay? But also what this could allude to with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, time is up, all right? So eventually people are, people are just going to start s slowly falling away and ain't nothing the Hierophant can do about it because people are taking their power back. They're saying no more, okay? And I, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um... Because on this side of the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Magician figure, okay? And then you have the Magician here, all right? So, I'm just, I don't, and I'm blanking on what this side of this card represents. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna, I'm going to get into the rest of the reading here. Um, but slowly but surely, people are just going to start doing new things with their lives, going in new directions with their lives. And this almost, it also kind of feels like a, a kind of karmic situation for whatever this Hierophant energy represents. It feels like this really is their or its karma. Um, like, I want to say the chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Give this one more shuffle, and then we'll get into the official message for the day. Maybe we'll get some clarity on that. Maybe we'll talk about something completely different. I don't know. Let's see what, we, let's see what happens. All righty. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, Janu January. Oh, good gracious, Eric, get it together. July, July 17th. Okay. We're going to start this over because <laughs> apparently I don't know what the date is. So, let me, before I go any further, obviously those things happen for a reason. I'm just being silly and dramatic. But something could be going on with you from January. Something could, this could have something to do with this coming January, all right? Take it as it resonates. Um, also, 17... I don't know, 17 could be a number for you. I mean, I know 17 has been a repeating number for me for a long time. Um, but take that, if, if that resonates with you, take it as it, I don't know. I don't know, we're just gonna start this over. Okay. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, July 15th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so for some of you, this really could be something to do with um, I want to say this past January, something that kicked off or something that happened, maybe something that was catalyzed this past January or something major that may have happened to you in a past January. It doesn't have to be this past January. It could be from 2018, 2017. It could be years back. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just the channel, okay? But when I was doing the date, when I was saying the date, and I was trying to say the date, I literally had to stop myself because I was going to say January again. And I have no idea why I would be saying January. It's the middle of July, <laughs> okay? So 
This has something to do with the winter for somebody. All right, I'm gonna give this five shuffles. And then we'll see what we've got for today's message. And I am shuffling with my eyes closed because obviously with this deck, you can't escape the images because they're everywhere. So bear with me. That was three. We have four. And we have five for Monday, July 15th. 2019. I swear to God, guys, I was just about to say January again. I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit, for today, July 15th, 2019. Ooh, my eyes are still closed, guys. We're getting a lot of cards here. Okay. We're gonna leave it there. All right, ooh. Well, look, we have the magician again. Okay, first side of the, of the overall energy, we have the Ace of Swords, which is in reverse. Second side, we have the Empress, which is in reverse, and she's facing a different direction. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have the magician now. And it's upright, and it's the same side that came out before. And it's upright this time. Okay. Interesting. What is going on here? What is going on here? All right. Someone's working on, on manifesting something new here. Um, Knight of Pentacles with the star, but that's sideways. There's a bit of stagnancy here. There is a bit of stagnancy here because these two cards came out sideways. All right, but I'm gonna just, for, for sake of what we're dealing with today, I'm just gonna leave them upright. And what, actually what I'm getting from this is that um, there's a little bit of a standstill. There's movement has been halted right now. I feel like for what, whomever this is, for whatever reason, you are manifesting something new in your life. The magician, okay? But you're taking a moment at this time, you're taking a moment to like consult with um, higher sources, with your inner self, with your higher self is what I'm hearing. Um, because I believe you are moving into uncharted territory here, okay? You have the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Empress in reverse, all right? Um, so that could be... This could be representing this knowledge, this un, uh, understanding, this truth, this identity, even, I'm hearing, that you are working on gaining clarity on so that you can continue moving forward, all right? The biggest thing here, though, now, first of all, let me say, I, I really, for those of you that are new to my channel, you may not know this. You may not be aware of this. For the red, for the veterans out there, y'all know me like this already, so don't worry about it. But for those of you who are new, I really do not focus my readings on love specifically. I just want to talk about, I just want to be a channel for spirit to discuss whatever it is you're looking, you need to hear or discuss in this moment, all right? But with that said, I am feeling some sort of relationship goals here that are coming through, and it has to do with this empress, all right? First of all, I feel like someone thinks that whoever, whomever their, their empress is, this either, this either could be you, well, I'm just gonna speak as if whoever, whomever I'm talking to is watching this video, okay? So you, if you are the viewer. So um, if you are, we'll say, the counterpart to this empress, so if you are the emperor, you feel like your empress has her back turned to you or isn't paying attention to you or doesn't love you or thinks you're not good enough or something like that. And that's false. Ace of Swords in reverse, that's false. Um, and quite frankly, this empress, what I'm feeling here, this empress might feel the same way about you. 
now in the sense or might think the same way you are thinking about the situation in the sense that oh my emperor doesn't like me or he doesn't think i'm good enough or blah or maybe i'm not i'm i, I, mm, I don't want to say that not about the empress the empress okay someone might be in an empress energy but still feel like they're not quite good enough and that might be the ace of swords moment that you're seeking on gaining here okay um but so i was saying all that to say <clears throat> eight of wands here communication is needed and i feel like the doorway is wide open for serious communication to really have a, a fresh new start to really communicate here you now have the eight of swords with in reverse with the page of pentacles upright Okay, and this is awesome because this is the side of the Eight of Swords. Look, this is the original side, the, the, the traditional side that we're used to. And here's the other side where it shows that this woman is actually, even though it looks like here she's tightly bound and she really can't get out of that. When you look at this side, hold on, she's really not tightly bound at all. That's pretty loose. She can get herself out of here and it's in reverse. So somebody, somebody is wake is. Mm, waking up or breaking their way out, breaking free and starting a new chapter, Page of Pentacles. This is my, the, the Page of Pentacles is my uh, level up card, okay? And this is starting something new. This is starting a commitment. I'm hearing coming out of your shell, all right? Um, now, let's talk about this, Temperance. Temperance, but it's this side of the card as opposed to this side, right? But it's upright, which is a good thing. And then you have the Six of Swords, which is in reverse. Um, so let's talk about Temperance first. This side of the card, according to the book, talks about not, because, because you see you have the gallows. Is, would this be considered a gallows? I don't know. But you have this structure here that the hanged man would be hanging from, okay? And the, the angel is facing that, all right? Um, but then you have this bird and the lion, okay? I know the lion is a symbol of pride. Um, yes, arrogance and ego. All right, fine, guys, chill out. <laughs> but in this case, this is not a bad thing, okay? This is balanced here. I don't quite remember what the bird represents, but in, in my opinion, the bird would represent the wisdom and knowledge. The, uh, the lion would represent the, the, the pride in, of self, the, the confidence of self, and I'm looking at it from this uh, a balanced and, and harmonious perspective, okay? So even though I'm saying all these things, I, I'm either hearing y'all say this or there are some others in there that are trying to distract me, but it's not all about pride and ego and arrogance, okay? And being stuck up. Like, there is a sense of having pride in oneself and the knowledge that one has acquired and gained on their journey. And on this side of the card here, it's like the universe is asking you not to compromise yourself for someone else, for someone else's pleasure, for someone else's thoughts, for someone else's beliefs. Like you actually have quite a good balance and I want to say reputation within yourself. So why give that away just to make someone else happy? And that absolutely resonates with the energy that came out in the pre-shuffle with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse saying, your time is up, buddy, okay? Uh, and so we have the Six of Swords here which is um, connected to that energy of not giving yourself away. Um, I'm feeling, a, it's interesting because I'm feeling a little bit of an Eight of Cups energy with the Six of Swords. And lately I really started to, to realize or recognize how, in my opinion, the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords are very, very similar energies in the sense that you are moving, one is moving away from something all right, and it's usually pretty full of drama. Now, the difference between the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords is with the Eight of Cups, there's potential to come back, all right? And a lot of writer, well, in traditional writer weight decks, the Eight of Cups is depicted as eight cups, eight cups neatly stacked and someone's walking away from them, all right? They're not spilled over, they're not scattered or whatnot, whatever. So maybe someone is, is moving off to go find the last two cups or the last piece of their puzzle to now complete their ten of cups so that would mean that they're coming back to it right even traditional um, 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 definitions of it do specifically say you can always come back to this later 
okay? The Six of Swords is different. The Six of Swords is, yes, moving away from something that, yes, is probably pretty full of drama because you're moving from rough waters to calmer waters, but you're not trying to come back to that shit, <laughs> okay? So I am feeling a kind of a walking away energy here. But again, well, two things. One, you are either not moving, like not budging, and staying in the situation, you're not trying to run away, you're not trying to hide from fear, you're not trying to avoid the situation here. Aha! You're not trying to avoid the situation. So you're staying and you're standing your ground. Doesn't mean you're trying to be confrontational, but also this is an energy, I'm feeling, I'm feeling an energy of, look, motherfucker, I don't have to go anywhere, actually. I'm staying right here. And if you don't like it, you can fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Oh shoot, what was the other thing I was picking up on? Um, not abandoning your point of view also is what's coming through here with the Six of Swords and the Temperance card. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that because I know I, I was talking too much and I, <laughs> and I lost my train of thought. I lost what else was coming through with that, but that's okay. I think the message is, has gotten across pretty Clearly, um, I, I'm not. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm looking at this Ace of Swords here, also with this Empress on the other side, um, and I just feel an energy of there's someone around somebody here who is an Empress energy, and this person is kind of wondering. It's like, but you see, I feel like whatever this Ace of Swords is here for somebody, you already know. You already know, okay? And that's why the Ace of Swords is here. And that's why the Empress is here too. Because either the Empress represents someone specifically for you, a feminine energy, whether they're, man, whether they're male or female, it doesn't matter. It's all about the energy, okay? Um... Or this empress is symbolizing abundance, okay? Universal abundance, unconditional love, whatnot, whatever. And so if you're dealing with a situation in terms of like, say, the, in terms of the Hierophant, in um, uh, like the establishment, you know, so society, social norms and stuff like that, you are not allowing yourself to tap into the knowledge that you have, Ace of Swords, which is the abundance around you, okay? You don't need to be caught up in the dogma. Um, for others of you, if this Empress represents an actual person, she's standing right in front of you. She's probably staring you in your face, but you are not allowing yourself to take the truth and the understanding that you have and move forward with it. So in that case, you need to communicate so that you can understand, you, ha you can get that. It's almost as if you need some sort of proof, some sort of physical proof. And that physical proof would come from a conversation with this individual um, so that you can move on. Because either way, whatever this represents for whomever I'm, I'm channeling for here, you are in the process of manifesting this from your heart center, from your, a place of your higher self. Okay, I just heard universal, from a place of universal mastery. That's beautiful. It's really beautiful. All right. So I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna move into the clarification now. Um, and I'm gonna leave these two piles. I don't know why that happens. I'm gonna leave these two piles like this, and I'm actually gonna clarify each one individually, separately. Um, I'm using the Tarot Illuminati deck um, by Ciro Marchetti. This is one of my favorite decks, actually. This is the sister deck to the Apocalypsis deck. These are the decks that I use for my mirror readings, but um, 
I don't have my Golden Universal right here right now because it's in my it's in my bag. I just don't want to get it. And actually, I, w I really want to use this deck today because I like it. So we're going to start on this side here. Now, also for you guys, this could be, this could either be you, like both sides, this, this, this side and this side could either be you, or it's two different people, or like, th like either side is you and the other side is another person, or it could be both. It could be anything. You could be resonating with everything and yet still having another person, I'm hearing a counterpart by your side that resonates with it as well. Okay. <laughs> One more shuffle. And then we're gonna talk about this magician, it's the star, knight of pentacles, eight of wands, eight of swords in reverse, and the page of pentacles here, okay? The beauty of this is on this side, the, the the most troubling card, the most troublesome card is in reverse. So I really feel like someone is coming out of some sort of mental prison. So, or maybe someone wants to come out of some sort of mental prison, but is not allowing themselves to, even though they're so loosely bound, it's ridiculous. Like you could literally slip out of there so easily, but you need to have a conversation first. You need, you see that ace of swords, that sword of truth is right there at her back, okay? You need, you, it's, you need some sort of clarification, but I, mm, that's where the stagnancy is coming in with the star and the knight of pentacles, which came out and it came out sideways. You already know. You already know. But you are allowing yourself to get stuck. You're allowing yourself to become stagnant just because you don't have this one piece of information that you feel like you need, even though you are manifesting from this, this from a place of following your own guidance, following your own inner light. This individual here, that can be seen as your higher self, even though it's a man, all right, fine, whatever, but it's the masculine energy. Maybe your higher self is guiding you in, in, in taking some sort of action. All right, you've got a meteor shower going on. I mean, this is like, this is divine alignment. All right, you are really manifesting this from a place of your inner light. And with the star here, obviously you're not gonna be able to see everything around you. All you can see is that one inner light that is guiding you here. But because you don't have some sort of truth, maybe because you just haven't heard it from this person or something like that, you're allowing that to stop you in some way, okay? All right, so now, now let's clarify. For this side of the equation, please, spirit, just some clarity, okay? Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, yes, yes! Yes, the sun, the hermit, and yeah, you see, the four of pentacles, okay, with the six of pentacles. All right, ooh. If I'm talking to a masculine energy here on this side, my goodness, your energy is beautiful right now because you have this six of pentacles and immediately that just made me think, you really want things to be balanced. Okay, all right, I get it now. So you're, I'm hearing you're not wanting to overextend yourself. You're not wanting to take any sort of liberties. You're not wanting to feel like some, or you're not wanting to give anybody the impression that you're taking some sort of liberties or you're, um, you're, you're approaching the situation or even I heard manifesting this from a place of entitlement. Okay, excellent, I like that. Um, so you do have the four of pentacles here. You have the hermit. You have the three of pentacles. You have the, oh yes, you have the king of pentacles. So yes, yes, this is the masculine side on this energy, okay? You have the two of cups. You've got the three of wands. All right, look, homie, <laughs> you're on the right path. 
you are on the right path. You are following your guidance. You have been following your guidance all along. You can, in fact, open up to who? This empress. And it feels like she wants to talk to you, too. Like, she's, she's not trying to have her back turned to her, towards you. She's just kind of focused on her own life. She's focused on her own empire. And the reversal, I know some of you might are kind of questioning, but it's reversed. It's only reversed because this individual thinks that you don't want to talk to him. Now, also, to keep it as balanced as possible, maybe you as this empress um, need some sort of confirmation too. Maybe you think the individual doesn't want to talk to you. But let's get back here. This is beautiful. You have the sun, you have the three of pentacles, you have the hermit, you have the two of cups, you have the king of pentacles. Uh, someone, okay, check it out. I'm going to talk to the masculine energy here. Or maybe this is a, ma a masculine counterpart, or maybe this is your own inner, inner masculine, okay? Inner masculine energy. But either way, someone here has been really doing their work, okay? Working on self-mastery, three of pentacles, working on finding their own inner light, the hermit, um, maybe even working on letting go of some things, even though I feel like with this four of pentacles here, even though you've been doing a lot of work <clears throat> to heal and to grow and to balance and to find your inner light and to do and, and to master yourself more than you have in the past, there are still some things you're not so willing to let go of. This four of pentacles feels more like a defense mechanism than anything else. It doesn't feel like greed. It doesn't feel like miserly energy. It feels like uh, uh, protection, protecting yourself, in a sense. Which also could be why you're having trouble um, making moves on faith with this star energy here, okay? But the sun is saying that everything's great. Things are a lot better than you think. Or things are going to turn out a lot better than you think. You are very well manifested, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. See, now what I'm getting from this King of Pentacles and this Two of Cups is that you're well manifested, you're ready to settle down, you're ready to commit. Two of Cups here. And you want to, Six of Pentacles, you want to be in a situation in which things are balanced. Balanced give and take, yes? All right, let's move to this side here. now. This really could still be you, this masculine energy. This still could be you here. And actually, I kind of feel like it is. I, I really just kind of feel like this reading is mainly for a masculine energy or the masculine energy within you, okay? Um, but there is definitely a need to stand your ground. No retreating, no avoiding the issue. But it's not, again, I don't feel an energy of being... Um, confrontational or trying to start a fight, trying to pick a fight with someone, trying to put your ideas out or, or, or get someone else to believe what you believe or something. Like, it's not even like that. But you're standing your ground. You're not going anywhere. You don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to disappear. Um, people can just grow the fuck up and get over themselves and learn to appreciate another even though we have differing opinions that's basically what this feels like here okay and actually this actually feels more like an advice situation than it does feel any like anything else but also some of you are already kind of embodying this energy so let's get some clarity here then six of swords in reverse with the temperance upright just some clarity please spirit oh oh wow Wowie, wow, wow. That's really interesting. All right. You see here we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, and that fell out on the Ace of Swords, the moon. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. And the Page of Cups here. A song just started playing in my head. Um, 
What I'm, okay, okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. This Ace of, I want to start here. This Ace of Cups in reverse that fell out on the Ace of Swords. If you're dealing with someone that you're, uh, you're, you have an attraction to, I want to say both of you love each other. So that could be what the holdup is. Someone wants to make some moves or take things a little further, blah, blah, blah. Yes, one step at a time, but... Um, but because, they're, because they don't really, you haven't really, may not have really communicated about this yet, that's what may be holding you back. Oh, looky here. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Three of Cups. Wow. So now you have the Six of Swords again, but now this feels different. Because this feels like instead of... Yes, this feels like moving from rough waters to calmer waters, but it's not like, again, you're not avoiding the situation. It's just like, you're, it's almost like a truce, almost like, okay, we can get along. Six of Wands, victory, okay? I heard victory after defeat. For some of you, that's relevant, but Two of Pentacles is the balance of a situation, keeping things in balance, okay? That's a good thing. Okay, so check it out. Also, guys, um, the Hierophant, which is, you know, the Hierophant came out in the, uh, the pre-shuffle. The Hierophant could represent marriage, commitment, okay? Um, and we have the Four of Wands here with the Three of Cups. Happy home, happy family, uh, balance, uh, more grounding, okay, between the Four of Pentacles, which is on this side, and now you have the Four of Wands here. Three of Cups is a celebration, all right, but then you also have, uh, um, yeah, you also have the Seven of Cups with the Moon. There's a lot of illusion around you. Or, oh my God, look at that, the Sun and the Moon. That's so funny. I'm getting energies of differing opinion here with the Seven of Cups. Um, this is all internal. This has a lot to do with out the external. This has a lot to do with um, your surroundings, but how you how you work with your surroundings on the inside. I'm I'm also feeling I'm feeling confusion. I'm feeling chaos. I'm feeling differing of opinion. I'm feeling five of wands energy, internal conflict also. Now this also could have to do with the fact that we're reaching a full moon soon. Within the next few days, I don't know when exactly. Is it tomorrow? I don't. Re I, I, I don't. I don't remember. It might be the sixteenth. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, um, I do feel like the what's coming through here is with the moon and the seven of cups. You may actually your emotions may be all over the place right now. You may have all these different things that you want to do, all these different things that you want to say, all these different ways of approaching a situation that you're really emotionally charged about, but you don't know how to do it right now, you might want to let the moon, uh, the full moon pass before you take any sort of action, before you start anything new. All right? With the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups here, this just feels like, because this these are, those are both union cards, so this just feels like a happy union. I feel like, especially with the Six of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles, I feel like <clears throat> somebody is going to be, somebody, it's there a couple, maybe this is a romantic partnership, maybe this is a friendship, maybe this is a business, maybe this is family, this is whatnot, whatever. I feel like some people are going to be able to find compromise between the two of you. And, 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 I, and I don't even want to use the word compromise, I just want to say balance, common ground, there you go something that you can see eye to eye on, or maybe even working on seeing each other's point of view, understanding each other from a different point of view, okay? There is love here. Regardless of whether we're talking about a romantic situation or not, there is love in the situation. It's just that people need to be respected for who they are. 
and not what everyone tries to make them to be or not what, what others try to mold them into. Page of Cups is speaking to dreamer energy, but it also could be speaking to some sort of reconciliation. It may also be a message of love. Interesting. This is a very interesting message, you guys. Oh, so a song came out of my head, or it started playing in my head with the Ace of Cups in reverse. It's by the 1975, um, I think it might be called It's Just You and I, but, um, and also, and I love that band. Wait, hold on, let me, I wanna see, I wanna see, give me a second. I wanna see what the actual name of that song is. But the lyrics that I'm hearing, it's the hook. It's just you and I tonight. Why don't you figure my heart out? That's basically what this is saying here. Instead of, um, sorry, let me, let me find this. Instead of needing to be, no, no, it's heart out. That's what it's called, heart out. Um, not it, yes, it's the, the song is called Heart Out. It's by the 1975. Um, instead of being like rigid or, st you know, standing in one place or trying to make someone change to fit you, or maybe even you changing to fit them, it's about learning about each other, figuring each other out. That could be why, you know, things are halted a little bit here. That could be why you're stopping yourself or the other person is stopping themselves from doing whatever um, because there's a sense of wanting to get to know someone first or needing to get to know someone first or, or the situation. Again, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be anything. All right. <laughs> You do have the sun and the moon. So what I was saying here about this being like the masculine energy and this side then could be the feminine energy. And that's actually kind of what I was feeling like when I started talking about how you could have two different people here, one on this side, one on that side. Also, it could be the masculine and feminine energy within you, but this is definitely a counterpart situation for some of you. It's very interesting because the counterparts are coming through in the sun and the moon. You are someone's sun to their moon or their moon to someone's, you are, or you are someone's moon to their sun. You know, like if we're talking about, we could be talking about a romantic situation. Now for the feminine here, yeah, I'm getting dreams, goals, and aspiration, aspirations aspirations with the moon and the seven of cups especially with this empress energy here that's facing the other way she's you're really from the feminine point of view you're really focused on your life on your manifestation on your empire on your empire it doesn't mean that you don't want somebody there with you but also i don't feel like you're really going to be making all that huge of a move It almost feels like the Empress is saying here, if the masculine wants something, he just needs to ask, but I'm not gonna chase him. If you want something, come get it. <laughs> I'm busy over here doing my own thing, but that doesn't mean I don't have time for you. But I just want you to want, I want, the, the Empress is saying to the, to the Emperor, basically, I want, you to tell me that you want to make this time. As soon as you tell me that, we're golden. Let's do it. That's literally all I need, says the Empress. I just need you to communicate it. I just need you to tell me, yes, this is what you want. Excellent, let's do it. Because you know it's what I want. You already know that, says the Empress. I just need to know that's what you want. And I'm not gonna chase you for it. I'm not gonna hunt you down. I'm not gonna hound you. No, I'm gonna stay focused on my own life, my own goals, my empire, what I'm building for myself. 
just like you've been focusing on your empire and what you've built for yourself. And if the situation goes right, we could combine them and be a superpower. That would be cool. <laughs> I like this, guys. Honestly, it feels good. It really feels good. Nothing feels too wrong here. Please excuse the pause. I'm thinking back on the pre-shuffle with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Hierophant was upright and the Magician in reverse. I forget what the other card was. But anyway, there was an energy of um, resistance. <laughs> There's 17 again. I just saw 17. Ha <laughs> ha, I see that number all the time. Um, sorry, train of thought. You might be someone, it might be the masculine here, but someone might be in resistance to the Wheel of Fortune, might be thinking worst case scenarios all the time. Also, if you're the feminine here and you're in that resistance, you could be thinking of worst case scenarios in terms of this masculine or any masculine energy, really. It doesn't necessarily have to be that specific person. It could be an overarching um, um symbol for you know just masculine energy the masculine energy you want to attract into your life in general and it could be the hierophant energy that is keeping you down or at least trying to keep you down keeping you in an energetic state where you're kind of in resistance or in a, a not so favorable um vibration in terms of the wheel of fortune which is constantly turning and you have to be the one to change your vibration uh, in relation to the Wheel of Fortune, if you desire to get the best or good things from the Wheel of Fortune and not just get some crappy shit that you don't want, right? Okay. All right. So let's get our closing message now. Let's close out the reading here with our Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck because we are... 47 minutes <laughs> into this reading here. There's 17 again. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, we're gonna give this one more shuffle, guys, and then we'll see what we've got for our daily message. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit. Also, guys, I do wanna say, there it is. I also wanna say that for some of you, what that, the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune, for some of you, marriage, I'm hearing this very clearly, marriage is very, very close. Like, so the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, saying the ti that time is up, meaning, and I don't, I don't, I don't work with timelines, all right? But I'm hearing this message, it's coming through, so I'm gonna say it. It's only a matter of time. It's like within it's within a matter of days something may happen something may click something may pop off something may shift and now you're moving toward you're moving even close that that much closer to the marriage that you desire that you seek it doesn't have to be marriage specifically i'm not saying you're going to jump from zero to, to to 60 and just get married immediately but um the wheel is turning in your favor to start moving in that direction, getting the ball rolling in that direction. Okay. For some of you, it's a pretty, that's, take that as it resonates. If you are, if you have been in this energy that a lot of us have been feeling lately about something's coming and you just feel it, but, and, and it's, and it's triggering a bunch of purging for you and it's making you super anxious because you're like, holy shit, what is this? You know, you know something's coming, you feel it's coming, but you don't know when, you don't know exactly what, and it's just like, oh my God, this is like, ugh, the suspense is killing me, okay? That's for some of you, all right? Okay, your oracle card for the day, card number 36, Ascended, Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite, Relief and Repair. And this does boil down to a nine, which is a number of endings. Okay. Let's 
It's just you and I tonight. Why don't you figure my heart out? I love the 1975. A friend of mine just put me onto them a few months ago and I became an instant fan. They're amazing. Definitely, if you should tr definitely check them out. Okay, relief and repair. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and re increase your ab ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in the future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nourishes you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. This also feels like a purge of some of those Hierophant energies for some of you. Yep, here we go. The Oracle of Relief and Repair comes with a message about your spiritual growth. You may or may not be aware of it, but you are learning to call more spiritual light into your body, your mind, and your life. Perhaps you have been praying to the universe more, asking for help. Perhaps you have been meditating more often or reading spiritual books and opening your mind to new levels of consciousness. Or perhaps your soul has just been growing, even if you don't know, quite know why it is happening or recognize it consciously. This is all good. However, your body needs time to adjust to the increase in light. If you just keep going without taking a short break, it would be like continuing to eat and eat and eat without taking time to digest and eliminate in between meals. Although you may be eating very good quality meals, in time, it won't matter. It'll just become too much. Now also, this is resonating with the energies of the, um, the Knight of Pentacles and the star that came out sideways, okay? Which is a little bit of a stagnancy, a little bit of a standstill. I'm hearing a short pause to find some relief, to, you know, to take a break, to rest for a little bit. That's a good thing. You're not stopping completely, but you might be just taking a little break at the moment. Or you may have taken a little break. It may be a situation in which it was like, okay, I know I'm following my inner light here, but I need to, I need to pull back a little bit for a second <laughs> to collect myself. Okay, that's perfect. That makes a lot of sense. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!